Hey guys, I'm T and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week. And if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. Here's a lovely mock neck vest I made over the weekend. I've been wanting to try new ways to use slip stitches, so it got me thinking about a few things, and I had this sketch for a while, so I thought I'd try it, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Feels like we're adding to our creative toolkit every week, and I don't mind. <laughs> um, before I forget, there's a hood too if you're into that like me. Now, click the bell if you want in on these crazy creative crochet capers. Yay alliteration. And without further ado. For this project, any category 4 yarn will work, but I used a skein of Red Heart Super Saver Jumbo in Cafe Latte. As for tools, a 5 and a 6 millimeter hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There's a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Watch to the end of the video to learn how to enter this week's giveaway. We're using six stitches for this project and they will be as follows. Chain, slip stitch, single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, treble crochet, double treble crochet. This tutorial is for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this top started, we're first going to grab our category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we're going to grab our 5mm hook and start off with our cable stitch detail. We're going to want to make a chain that reaches from mid collarbone to mid collarbone, making sure that you have a minimum of 16 stitches because that's marked off our cables, and we end on an even number. So I'm going to make a chain of 22, and that's 6 inches or 15 centimeters. Now that we have our chain, we are going to block off that last chain and do a chain up of 2. That's our half double turning chain. We're going to prepare for a half double crochet and then into that chain that we blocked off, or the third chain from our hook, we're going to go in with a half double. Put one half double crochet into every chain. We've made our way down to the end of our row number one. Row number two is going to be another half double crochet row. Do a chain up of two, flip our work, put one half double crochet into every stitch. Now that our row number two is done, we're going to get started with row number three, which is cables. Do a chain up of two. That is our half double crochet turning chain. Flip your work. We're going to prepare for a front post treble crochet. Turn over one, two times. Insert your hook into that first half double crochet into the first row, skipping this first chain up of two. Turn over, pull through. Pull through two, two, two. This is going to be our pillar. Our cable is going to start with two front post double treble crochets. Yarn over one, two, three times. Skip the next two half double crochets in the first row. Insert your hook into the next. Pull through. Pull through two, 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 two. Our cables are worked in sets of two, so let's do one more. Yarn over one, two, three times. Into that next half double, insert your hook, pull through. Pull through two, 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 and two. You're now going to do another set of two front post double trebles into the two stitches that we skipped. Yarn over one, two, three times. Insert your hook into that first half double crochet. Pull through. Pull through two, 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 two. One more. Yarn over one, two, three times. Into that last half double crochet. Pull through. Pull through two, 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 two. To close off our cables, we're going to do two front post treble crochets. Yarn over one, two. 
into that next half double crochet. Pull through, pull through two, two, two. One more for our cable, yarn over one, two times. Into that next half double, insert your hook, pull through, pull through two, two, two. Now we have to close off with our pillar, which will stay a front post treble crochet. Yarn over one, two times. Into that next half double, pull through, pull through two, two, two. Now from here, we are going to be inserting our stitch marker into the eighth stitch from the other end so that we can block off where our second cable is going to start. Now, to get started on our alpines, we're going to take a look at the previous row and count eight stitches because we have eight stitches from here to here. Into that ninth half double crochet in our previous row, we're going to put one half double crochet into there. When we have that, we're going to do a front post double crochet into our previous row. Prepare for a front post double crochet. Insert your hook into that next half double from the previous row. Pull through, yank up a little bit, pull through two, pull through two. That is one set of our alpine. Let's do the next set together. Prepare for a half double crochet. Skip one stitch in the previous row. Insert your hook into the next with a half double. Prepare for a front post double crochet. Skip one half double in the previous row. Insert your front post double crochet into the next. Hang up, pull two, pull two. And for me, I have one more set before we hit our stitch marker. Prepare for a half double. Skip one stitch in the back. Half double crochet into the next. One more front post double crochet. Prepare. Skip one half double. Do your front post double crochet into the next. Yarn over, pull through, yank up, pull through two, pull through two. Now that we have that, we're going to do the second half of our cables, which will mirror this first half. So we're going to prepare for a front post treble crochet. From this first row, we're going to count in, not counting this first half double. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's where you're going to insert your first front post treble crochet or our pillar. Yarn over one, two times into that half double crochet, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, two, two. That is our pillar. Getting started with our cables, we're gonna do two more front post treble crochets. So yarn over one, two times, into that next half double. There's one. Into that next half double, there's our second. You're going to prepare for a set of two front post double trebles. You're number one, two, three. Skip over these next two half double crochets. Insert your hook into the half double after that. Pull through, pull through two, 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 two. They worked in sets of two, so do one more. We're now gonna work our next two sets of front post double treble crochets underneath the two that we just made. So yarn over one, two, three times. Make sure your yarn is securely on your hook. Pull our work down and try to find those two skipped half double crochets in that window that we made. Find that first half double, insert your hook, pull through, pull through two, 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 two. 
Do one more into that last half double. Yarn over one, two, three times into that half double. Pull through, pull through two, pull through two, two, two. Close off this row with a pillar, but it's going to be combined with a half double crochet. So yarn over one, two times into that second to last half double crochet, insert your hook, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. We should have two loops on our hook. Prepare for a half double crochet, insert your hook into the last stitch from our previous row, yarn over, pull through. We should now have four loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through all four of those loops. That is our last front post treble crochet into every cable row. When we have this, do a chain up of two, flip our work, put one half double crochet into every stitch. Now that we finished our half double crochet row, we should have four rows. We're now going to get started on our fifth, which is our next cable. Start off by doing a chain up of two. Flip our work. We are always going to start off by doing our pillar. So a front post treble crochet. Yarn over one, two times. Into that first post that we have, into our previous cable stitch row. Pull through, pull through two, two, and two. To get started on our cable, we're going to do two front post trebles. Yarn over one, two times. Into that first post, pull through. Two, two, two. One more. Yarn over one, two times. Insert, pull through. Two, two, two. The first cable stitch that we have for this row is the same as the last cable stitch that we have for the third row. So we're going to prepare for a front post double treble. Yarn over one, two, three times. Skip the next two posts, insert your hook into the next. Pull through, pull through two, 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 two. One more. Yarn over one, two, three times, into the next. Pull through, pull through two, 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 two. Working back into the two skipped posts, we're going to go underneath the two that we made. Yarn over one, two, three times. Hang on to your yarn, pull our work down, and find those two that we skipped in that window. Insert your hook into that first one, pull through, pull through two, 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 one more, yarn over one, two, three times, into that last post, pull through, pull through two, 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 two. To close off our cable stitch section, we have to do our pillar. Yarn over one, two times. Into that last post, pull through, pull through two, two, two. Now working our alpine section, do your first front post double crochet into the half double crochet into our previous alpine row. Prepare for a double crochet. Insert your hook underneath that half double, yarn over, pull through, yank up just a little bit, pull through two, pull through two. Count out nine stitches in the previous row and half double crochet into the tenth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, half double crochet into that tenth. I will be doing two more sets. 
Now, to get started on our second half of our cable for our fifth row, it's going to be the first one that we did in our row three. We're going to prepare for a front post treble crochet because that is our pillar. Yarn over one, two times. Into that first post, pull through, pull through two, two, two. Skip the next two stitches to a front post double treble into the next two. Yarn over one, two, three times. Into that third stitch, pull through, pull through two, 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 one more, one, two, three. Into that next, pull through, pull through two, 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 two. Working back into the two that we skipped, yarn over one, two, three times. Into that first post, pull through, pull through two, 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 two. We got one more, yarn over one, two, three times. Insert your hook, pull through, pull through two, 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 and two. To close off our cable section, do two front post treble crochets, yarn over twice, pull through, two, 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 yarn over twice, insert, pull through two, 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 two. Now to close off this cable detail, we have to do our pillar, but since we're at the end, this is going to be combined with a half double crochet. Yarn over one, two times. Insert into the last post from the previous cable stitch row. Pull through, pull through two, pull through two. We should have two loops on our hook. Prepare for a half double crochet. Insert your hook into the last stitch in the previous row. Pull through. We should have four loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through all four. Do a chain up of two, flip our work, put one half double crochet into every stitch. Okay, we just finished up row six. Now, repeat rows three through six till we're roughly four inches away from our desired length. If you need a refresher, there will be timestamps in the description or leave a comment down below. We do have to meet back on a half double crochet row that's about to start our repeat of row five so that all of our decreases can be the same. Other than that, I'll meet you guys back to let you guys know my measurements. All right, y'all, so we are back and I have just finished up going in with my solid cable stitch portion. I currently have a total of 32 rows. We did meet back after a half double crochet row and we're about to get started on our fifth row of our cable repeat. And we should all end up here so that we can all do the same decreases together so that no one is confused. But once when we are here, we're all going to start off by doing a chain up of two. We're all going to start off by doing a decrease of two front post treble crochets. So yarn over one, two times. We're going to insert our hook behind the first two posts that we have in our previous cable stitch row. So insert behind one and two at the same time. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two pull through two, and pull through two. And then once we have this, we are going to continue our cables as normal. So we're basically just taking the pillar and the first stitch away. We're gonna do the same thing on the end, but I'll meet you guys over there so that we can do that together. But just so we can get this cable started, we're going to go in with one front post treble crochet because that's what we would be doing as if we didn't do our decrease. Now, continue doing your cable and your alpine. I'll meet you guys back once we hit this cable so that we can do our decrease together. All right, so we are now ready to get started on our next cable within the same row. So we're gonna start this off like normal. One front post treble crochet. And 
and a set of two front post double trebles, skipping these first two. Another set of two front post double trebles into the two that we skipped. Now to close off this row, we don't want to do anything into that last pillar and last stitch, but we do have one in between. And if we're following the pattern, that is going to be one front post treble. And then now we're going to decrease, but since we're at the end, we are going to combine this with a half double crochet. So let's do this together. Yarn over two times. Insert your hook underneath that first post and that second post. Pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Now that we have two loops on our hook, we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into the last stitch that we have in the previous row. Yarn over, pull through. We should have four loops on our hook. So yarn over and pull through all four. Once we have that, do a chain up of two, flip our work, put one half double crochet into every stitch. I'll meet you guys back at the end of this row. All right, guys, we've made our way down with our half double crochets, and now we're ready to get started on our next decrease row. So do a chain up of two. We're going to start off by doing another decrease of two front post treble crochets. So yarn over twice, insert your hook underneath these first two posts in the previous cable stitch row. Pull through, pull through two, two, two. Now that we're here, we're going to skip these next two stitches and put two front post double trebles into the next two. So yarn over one, two, three. Skip, insert into the next. And we have one more to do. Now we're going to go underneath this window that we made to go into these two that we skipped. Yarn over one, two, three. Hang on to our work, pull our work through, and find those two sketches that we skipped in that window. Pull through, pull through two, 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 and we have one more. Yarn over three times into that last post. Two, 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 two. Now, to close off this row, we're going to do our pillar. Yarn over one, two times into that post, our front post, treble crochet, And now working into our outline, we're going to be skipping seven stitches from our previous row. So count out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Into that eighth, go in with our half double crochet, and then our front post double crochet. Work your outlines until we get to our cable. Now that we're at our next cable, we're going to do our front post treble crochet. Turn over twice, insert into there for our pillar. And now to get started on our cable, we need this side to mirror this side, so they're gonna be done similarly, but not exactly the same. So we're going to prepare for a set of two front post double trebles. Skip these first two stitches, go into that next with one front post double treble. And then into the next with another front post double treble. For this side of our cable, we're going to prepare for a front post double treble. Work over the two that we just did. Insert your hook into that first post that we skipped with one front post double treble. One more because we have one more available. Now we're going to close this off with a decrease of two front post trebles. That is combined with a half double crochet. So yarn over twice. Underneath those last two posts in this row, pull through. Pull through two, pull through two. When we have two loops on our hook, 
Prepare for a half double crochet. Insert your hook into the last stitch in the previous row. Pull through, we should have four loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through all four. Do a chain up of two, flip our work, put one half double crochet into every stitch. Alrighty guys, so we have just made our way down and we're about to get started on our third cable decrease row. So let's get that started. I already have my chain up of two. We're always going to start off with doing a decrease of two front post treble crochets. So yarn over one, two times. Insert your hook into the first two posts from the previous cable stitch row. Pull through, pull through two, two, and two. From here, we are going to skip this next post and work into the next two since they are still worked in the same sets of two. So yarn over one, two, three times. Skip this available post, go into the next two, putting one front post double treble crochet into those next two. Once we have that, we're going to be working into the window again. So yarn over one, two, three times. Hang on to our yarn, pull our work down. Find that one available post that we skipped and do one front post double treble into there. From here, we have our pillar to do. So do that, I'll meet you guys back at our next cable. We're now at our next cable. So we're gonna do our pillar. Yarn over twice, go into that post with one front post treble, and we're going to need to mimic the same thing that we have over here, making sure that they're mirrored. So we're going to prepare for a front post double treble. Yarn over one, two, three times. Skip these next two stitches that we have. Go just into that next one because these last two will be saved for our decrease. So into this third, pull through, pull through two, 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 two. Now we're going to work back into those stitches that we skipped with one front post double treble into each. One, two, three. Insert your hook into that first one. And now into the last one that's available. And close this off with our decrease of two front post treble crochets. But since this is the last, this will be made into a half double crochet as well. Once we have that, go ahead and do a chain up of two. Flip our work, put one half double crochet into every stitch. I'll meet you guys back. All right, we are back. And now that we have successfully done three decreased cable rows, I'm going to let you guys go from here. From here, we are still going to be doing a decrease of two front post treble crochets. But since we just have a few stitches left, they're just going to be front post trebles into each. Maintain your alpine front post treble into each and decrease into the last two, remembering that this is combined with a half double crochet. And keep going until you guys end up having the slant that you guys want. I'm going to keep going until I have five decrease rows. I'll meet you guys back once when I have those done, and then we'll all move on together from there. All right, y'all, so I am back and I have just finished up going in with all of my cable rows. I ended up having five of my decreased cable rows and I have a total of 41. And what we're gonna do from here is start to work on the body portion. So first we're going to switch out to our six millimeter hook. Insert our hook into the blunt end of our cable stitch section. Insert our yarn onto our hook and pull through. We're going to do a chain up of one. And then from here, we're going to work along the cable detail, alternating between one to two single crochets into every side half double crochet row. So let's do the first set together. Into this first side half double crochet row, insert your hook. We're going to put one single crochet into there. And then this is my next side half double crochet row. Insert my hook and I'm going to go into that one with two. So there's one and then there's two. And we're going to keep alternating like that going all the way up until we hit our first 
decrease row, and then I'll meet you guys back. So we have just single crocheted all the way down to our first decrease row. From here, we're going to do rows of back loop slip stitches. And we're going to be decreasing along the slide to keep up with this slant. So we're going to do a chain up of one and flip. Into the first back loop that we have, insert your hook, pull through, next back loop, we're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops that's on our hook. Put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, making our way down. Once we make our way down to the end, do a chain up of one, flip, put one back loop slip stitch, making our way back up, decrease into the last two, and keep repeating that until this portion that we have right here is able to stretch and reach underneath mid underarm. Then I'll meet you guys back when we have that done so I can talk you guys going through the other side. All right, so I have just finished up going in with my side panel and I ended up having a total of 15 rows. I got a little overzealous and did the other side as well, but it's going to be done exactly the same way. So the only thing that I have to tell you guys is just remember to insert your hook into the blunt end of our cable stitch section and then repeat everything that we did on this side. But once we have both of these all finished up, we can now get started on our back. We are first going to need to make a chain that is the same length as the tallest part of our front panel, which is our cables. So in order to get that, I counted out the amount of rows that I had for my cable stitch section. I split that in half and then I added those two numbers. So as an example, I have a total of 41 rows right here. I cut that in half, but I rounded that down to 20. I added 41 to 20, so now I'm going to make a chain of 61. All right, and now that we have our chain, we're going to do a bunch of rows of back loop slip stitches. So it's going to be a pretty solid piece. What we're going to do is tuck this off to the side. We're going to do a chain up of one. That is our turning chain. Into that chain that we blocked off, or the second chain from our hook, we're going to go in with a slip stitch, just like that. And we're going to maintain putting one slip stitch into every chain. Once we make our way down to the end, we're going to do a chain up of one, flip our work, and put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And we are going to maintain doing our solid slip stitch section until we end up having the same amount of rows as we have stitches along our last row that we had for our cable stitch section. I'll meet you guys back once we have that done. All right, so I am back and I have just finished up going in with the same amount of rows as I have stitches for my last cable stitch row right here. I had 12 here. So I have 12 rows here, and now we're going to do some decreasing, and we're going to decrease into every row, going all the way down until we end up having the same amount of stitches as our last underarm row. So let's just decrease together really quickly. We're going to do a chain up of one, and flip our work. Insert your hook into that first available back loop, pull through, next available back loop, yarn over, pull through, all three loops. Once we make it down to the end, do a chain up of one, flip our work, bring it back down, decreasing into the end. So I'll meet you guys back once we have this entire side all finished up, and then we can go in with the other together. All right, guys, so I have just finished up going in with my underarm portion for my back panel. As you guys can kind of see, I ended up having the same amount of stitches as my front panel once we made our way all the way down. And from here, we're just going to do the same thing on the other side. So insert your hook into this top loop making sure it's in the back loop, and then we're going to make our way down with back loop slip stitches, remembering to do a decrease into every row for the same amount of rows that we have along this side, and then I'll meet you guys back. Alrighty, so we are back, and I have just finished up going in with the entirety of my back panel. Now that we have this, we are ready to seam it up. So, the first thing that we are going to want to do is make sure that our cable is faced up towards us, and then the back panel is right underneath it. From there, we're going to be inserting our hook into the corner stitches of the front panel and the back panel. Go ahead and insert your yarn onto your hook, pull through, and do a chain up of one to secure. And from here, we're going to be slip stitching the front and the back panel together, making sure we're going in through the outside loops. So let's do the first few together. By outside loops, I mean the loops that is closest to us and then furthest away from us. So into the front panel, go ahead and insert your hook into that front loop and then into the next stitch we have into the back panel insert your hook into that back loop just make sure our hook is in the right spot 
and then we're going to yarn over and pull through everything. Let's do this together just one more time. So into the next available stitch, we have into the front panel, go into that front loop. Next available stitch, going into the back panel, go into that back loop. From here, we're gonna yarn over and pull through everything on our hook. We're doing it this way so that our work looks a little bit more seamless, as you guys can see. We're gonna have it done on this side, and once when it's worn, it's not really that noticeable. But go ahead and keep doing this, going all the way down to a chain up one and cut, where we have no more stitches left, and then do the same thing on the other side. All right, guys, we have just finished up seaming up our sides, and now we're about to get started on our underarm portion. I have already tested mine out, and it's looking pretty good, so we're going to get started on the other side together. We're first going to start off by inserting our hook into the corner stitch into the body piece. So what we're going to do from here is clean up our edges. We're going to go around putting one single crochet into every side slip stitch row. And then once we make our way over to our half double crochets, we're going to be alternating between one to two single crochets into every half double. I'll meet you guys back at the corner. So now that we've made our way down with our single crochet row, we're now going to make a chain of the length that we want our underarm detail to be. I want mine to start off being two inches or five centimeters, so I'm going to chain out eight. Now that I have my chain eight, I'm gonna block off that last chain, do a chain up of one. Into that chain that we blocked off, for the second chain from our hook, go in with a slip stitch. Put one slip stitch into every chain. Now that we've slip stitched into every chain, we're gonna slip stitch it into the next available stitch, into the base. So into this next stitch, Insert your hook, pull through everything. In order to work our way up to the next row, we're going to slip stitch into that next base stitch, flip our work. We're going to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, leaving the last two because we're going to decrease into those last two. Now that we have our two last stitches, we're going to insert our hook into the second to last, pull through, into the last, pull through all three. And from here, if you guys are doing my numbers, we should have seven stitches. Do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, making our way down. And then from here, we are going to maintain our previous stitch count. So for me, it's seven, going all the way down, attaching it into the base the same way that we just did, until we have three rows left, and then we're going to do the same thing, but with increases. All right, so we have just made our way around with our back loop slip stitches, and we have one, two, three stitches left. So let's do those together. My next stitch, I'm gonna slip stitch into there. Put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. Now that we've gone into every stitch, we're going to increase by doing a chain out of two and flip our work. Into the second chain that we have from our hook, we're going to insert with another slip stitch. And then continue putting one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And for our last row, we're going to slip stitch into there, pull through everything, flip our work, and just put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. Once we reach the end, do a chain up of one cut, and do the same thing that we did here on the other side. All right, so we are back and we have just finished up going in with both of our underarm portions, and now we're going to get ready for our mock neck. The first thing that we're going to do is make sure that our work is flipped right side out and right side up, meaning our cable is faced up towards us. And then we're going to insert our hook into one of the corner stitches. Once when we have that, we are going to try our work on and then measure from that corner stitch up and over our shoulder to the corner that we have along the front. And I have already measured mine out. I'm going to start off by making a chain of two and a half inches or seven centimeters, or that's nine chains. Now that I have my chain, I'm going to single crochet it into this corner stitch. And then I'm going to single crochet all the way across. These are all regular stitches, so just put one into every. Once we hit the corner, we're going to make another chain that matches this one, so I'm gonna make a chain of nine. Single crochet it into this back corner. When it comes to the back, we're going to single crochet across. And then once we hit this point, we're going to be putting one single crochet into every other side slip stitch row. And then once we reach here, we're going to slip stitch into that chain space that we just made, and then I'll meet you guys back. 
And now that we have our first single crochet and chain row, we're going to go in with one more row of single crochets. So just make your way all the way across, putting one single crochet to every stitch. And now that we've gone in with our second row for our mock neck, we can now go in with our actual mock neck detail. So we're going to start off by making a chain the length that we want our mock neck to be. I want mine to be about three inches or eight centimeters. So I'm going to start off by making a chain of 12. Now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain to a chain up of one. Into that chain that we blocked off or the second chain from our hook, go in with a slip stitch. Put one slip stitch into every chain. Now that we've made our way down to the bottom, we're going to slip stitch into the base, but we're going to be going in through the back loops. So we do want to make sure that our work is still flipped right side out. But instead of going in through both of these, we're just going to insert our hook in through that back loop, yarn over, pull through everything. That's how we close off our first row. Into that next back loop, insert your hook, pull through, flip our work, and then we're going to go in with more back loop slip stitches. Once we make our way down to the end, do a chain up of one, flip our work, and do back loop slip stitches, making our way back down, slip stitching it into the back loops into the base. Go ahead and keep doing that, going all the way around. I'll meet you guys back so that we can seam it up together. We have just made our way all the way around with our back loop slip stitches for our mock neck, and we are ready to seam it up. This seam is going to be the exact same way that we seamed the body portion, so let's just get the first few together. We're going to insert our hook into the corner stitches into the front panel and into the back panel. Once we have that, we're going to yarn over, pull through everything, and then do a chain up of one to secure. And into the first available stitch into the front panel, we're going to insert our hook into that front loop. Next available stitch into that back panel, into that back loop. And then we're going to yarn over, pull through all three loops that's on our hook. Just like that, and we're going to continue slip stitching within the outside loops, making our way down. Once we get to the end, go ahead and do a chain up of one and cut. All right, so we have just finished up seaming up our mock neck, and now we can get started on our hood. We are first going to insert our stitch markers right where we want the hood to start. From one stitch marker going around the back to the next, there does need to be an even number but make sure it's not a 10, so no 40s, 50s, 60s, etc. I have a total of 44 stitches between mine, and making sure my work is slipped right side up and right side out, I'm going to insert my hook into the right side. And now that my hook is into here, I'm going to be putting one single crochet into every stitch until we hit our next stitch marker. Now that we have single crocheted around our work, we're going to do a chain up of three. That's going to help us work to our double crochet row, and we're going to be increasing into every other stitch. So from here, we're going to chain up one, two, three. That is our turning chain. From here, we're going to prepare for a double. Insert your hook into that first with one double. Into that next stitch with two doubles. So there's one, there's two. And keep alternating between one to two double crochets going all the way around until we hit this next stitch marker. Once we hit this last stitch, we're going to do a chain up of one, flip our work, and put one single crochet into every stitch, making our way back. I'll meet you guys back so we can get started on our alpine section. All right, so we have just made our way around with our third row. Now we can get started on our alpine stitch, but since we already know how to do that, I'm just going to talk you guys through it. Our next alpine row is going to start off with a front post double, half double crochet. We're going to keep doing that all the way around, and then we need to make our way back around doing half double crochets. Our alpine stitch row after that is going to start off with one half double, and then a front post double. Keep doing that going all the way around. I'll meet you guys back once we have the height of our hood, which reaches the crown of our head, and then we can move on from there. All right, guys, we are back, and I have just finished up going in with the height of my hood. I ended up having a total of 28 rows, and this comes out to 10 inches or 26 centimeters. The next thing we're going to do is fill in the middle portion of our hood. So we're first going to want to insert our stitch markers into some spots. I'm just going to insert my stitch marker into an even number that I think is kind of squared off along both edges, making sure that it's even on both sides. And I inserted my stitch marker into the 22nd. On both ends. And now that we have this, we're ready to get started. So just make sure that your work is flipped right side out 
and right side up. And from here, we're going to insert our hook into the stitch that our stitch marker is in on the right. From here, we're going to insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, do a chain up of one, and then working towards the other stitch marker, we're going to put one single crochet into each of those stitches and then single crochet into that stitch that our stitch marker is into, and then I'll meet you guys back. Now that we've made our way over to our next stitch marker, we're going to be slip stitching into there, yarn over, pull through, and that's how we connect into the base. And then to work our way up to the next row, which is going to be a double crochet row, we're going to be slip stitching into the next two. So slip stitch up one, slip stitch up two. Flip your work and then put one double crochet into every single crochet stitch that we have, making our way down. I'll meet you guys back on this side. Now that we've made our way down to this end, we're going to slip stitch into the second available stitch into the base. So count up one, count up two, slip stitch into that second. Once we have that, we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch, flip our work, single crochet back down, and then we're going to get started on our outline. We just made our way down with our single crochet row, and now we're going to get started on our alpines. So go ahead and slip stitch into the next two stitches into the base. We're now going to prepare for a front post double crochet into that first double crochet, insert, pull through, yank up nice and tall, and finish that off. Prepare for a half double crochet, skip one stitch, do a half double crochet into the next. I'll meet you guys back at the end of this row. Now that we've made our way down to the end, we are going to be slip stitching into the second stitch that we have into the base. So count up one, count up two, and slip stitch. Now we need to work our way back, so we're only going to be slip stitching up one stitch, flip our work. And we're going to make our way back with a row of half double crochets. So prepare for a half double, insert into that first stitch with a half double crochet. Then keep doing this going all the way down, and we're basically just going to be repeating this until we don't have any more stitches left, and I'll meet you guys back so that we can clean up our hood. Alright guys, so we have just finished up going in with the middle portion of our hood. I did do a chain up of one and cut, and then from here we're just going to clean up the edge of our hood with a single crochet. So I'm just going to be inserting my hook into the stitch that's right next to the edge of our hood, and then we have a bunch of side half doubles to go into. So you guys know the drill. We're going to alternate between one to two single crochets into every side half double. And we're just going to keep doing that going all the way around. Slip stitch into the next available stitch on the other side of our hood. And then I'll meet you guys back. All right. So we have just finished up going in with our hood. And now we're going to get started on our bottom band. So we're first going to insert our hook into any one of these side slip stitch rows and we're just going to single crochet across putting one single crochet into each of these side slip stitch rows then one single crochet into each of these stitches go ahead and do a slip stitch into the chain up of one space and then i'll meet you guys back all right guys so we are back and i have just finished up going in with my single crochet row i did do a chain up of one and cut and we are actually all done the last thing that we're going to have to do for this piece is just weave in all of our ends We've woven in our ends and our piece is all finished. I can't explain to you guys how excited I am for this top. It's got all my favorite things combined into one for the perfect little fall top. Now, I just need them in every color. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us what your favorite fall drink is. Good luck to everyone who enters. Also, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up because believe it or not, it really, really helps. And be sure to share us on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. Links down below. Link to our Etsy page is down there too if you want to buy this piece or any other piece on the channel. And be sure to favorite the shop so you don't miss out on new patterns and exclusive deals. As always guys, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next one.